Uh, welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophie, your pilot into the universe of Chinese. Let's continue unpacking some Chinese idioms um, that is more recent year creation instead of this long time honored four character formations. So uh, it will be a little bit lengthier, but these are everyday Chinese language. That's kind of a little bit funny, humorous, uh, because I guess it's universal, like funny expressions probably have a long, higher chance of survive, survival in all kinds of expressions. So got to be somebody created this and then it got viral. People just keep using it, re-quoting it, and it becomes um, formulated as a fixed expression in a language and people just you know, keep coming to this same expression to express in a certain um, context. Today's expression is 脚踩西瓜皮, 滑到哪里, 是哪里. Okay, you can see it's just so wordy. And they even have this reputation of 哪里 and 哪里 again, right? Um, okay, let's, let's uh, give you an overall uh, meaning of it. So, just by the individual character uh, translation. Can you tell what that is? 脚踩西瓜皮. You use your foot. Your foot step on to... 西瓜 is a watermelon, but Chinese translated as a west melon. Probably it's some imported melon fruit that's from the west, ge geographically to the west of you know, China centric worldview. Um, that's watermelon imported probably from somewhere in Middle East. Uh, okay, that's xigua watermelon, pi. We use skin, skin of the fruit. And we didn't really distinguish what kind of skin that is. We just say skin of a fruit. And a, a, in English actually created a word for it. It's a ring of watermelon. Okay, now this scenario, this context, this image, almost like a comical action of you're stepping onto this slippery ring of watermelon. What's going to happen? <laughs> the result would be um, you're going to slide to where is where, <laughs> okay. Where side is where side. Okay, it's highly repetitive, right? Uh, 滑到哪里是哪里 is wherever you slide to is wherever you slide to. It's almost equivalent to English. It's, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. This it is, it is repeated. And then we just accept it is what it is, <laughs> right? So it, it, in Chinese, 滑到哪里是哪里 is where you slide to is where you land it to. It is what it is. It, where it is, is where it is that you're landing on. So that's basically the meaning. Um, okay, so 脚踩, um, 脚 is the, the food step, right? In Chinese, we have a uh, food made of this um, meat symbol on the left. That means part of the body. And then we have the 踩 also on the left side that symbolize something related to your to your feet. And actually we have the food symbol in here. And the this is kind of your kneecap symbolization abstracted into this form. So that means the whole thing of stepping, this action of stepping. Uh, in Chinese, it's made of the toes, uh, not the toes, the food symbol. So the bottom is a food symbol. Chinese abstraction of food and the kneecap together. It gives you two major body parts that's movable. And this movable motion gives you the sense of it is actually something related to your stepping. So when you step onto something, I mean, your hip joint and your knee joint have to work together, right? But over here, we're just looking at the below the knee everywhere below the knee, like that's the motion you're stepping onto that describing. Okay. And a xi gua pi, again, we talked about that. It's a melon. This gua is a visual depiction of the melon. And the xi is the direction 
where melon comes from in relative to Chinese geography, right? Chinese location. And this she was made of the, the image of the bird coming to its net at the end of the day. And that's the definition of West. I think that's quite poetic for Chinese to pick that natural phenomenon uh, concurring with the setting sun and use this birds coming back to its nest um, to mean it's the timing of uh, the sun setting timing, the, the west of the sunset. Okay, um, P, uh, it, P is a depiction of the skinning process. So in ancient hunter-gatherer society, uh, the, the hunters, I'm not sure if it's the hunters does the work, but um, someone from the tribe would do this de-skinning process uh, to take off the skin from the animal so that it can cook the meat, right? To feed the tribe. So this, the skin image originally came from this animal skin. Now it transfer and apply to the watermelon. And that's watermelon rank. Hua, okay, we have the three dot sign on the left. That is water symbol. And so I guess water, um, is the natural phenomenon that we can observe if it's <laughs> just like a slippery floor um, sign, right? In the West, when we see the, when we have water on the on the floor, the sign of, you know, alert, there's water here, slippery hazard. Um, so this water recognizing Chinese culture as well as that's the condition can be created as a slippery uh, surface. So we have the water sign to mean slide, and then 滑到哪里, we have this delivery, like going to a somewhere image over there, and then 哪里是哪里, this repetition of 哪里, okay. There is a mouse symbol, this box thing is a mouse symbol. I mean, over here, box symbol is a kneecap, but over here, it turned to be a mouse symbol. And mouse symbols, mouse is probably a, kind of a per, turn it into um turn it into a question okay what i mean is without this mouse symbol not the it means over there so there is a di direction of uh you know where that is right you you can point to it's over there but when it adds this mouse symbol a a turn this there this certainty of the location into uncertainty becomes like a question mark, like nali, like where it is. It becomes where. So I, I think in English too, we have a there, here, there, where. They all share this similar location related um, elements in there. And then when it, it's a W in front, that's equivalent to the mouse symbol in Chinese. Uh, add to there means a question mark, like uncertainty, you don't know where that is and that that is where <laughs> instead of there right okay um and li simply is a is a location and it came from this you see a box with a cross it means the land uh the the farm field we cut the bigger land into smaller pieces so that households or families can own and run these within this borderline uh, assigned piece of land smaller piece of land household own and then the bottom is the 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 soil symbol so that means a farming field and we use that to mean location because as an agrarian society um this sense of location most likely related to where your farm field is right that's the most commonly uh referred to like you don't yeah, farm field is probably this ownership of the, the piece of land. It's yours, right? That's probably came strongly back then. So we use that to mean location. It's kind of a, you know, Google map, this little flag thing. So Nali is like, where is that destination? And Shi Nali Shi is the confirmation of uh, where you're going. So basically, it's the sun symbol, and then you have a food symbol again. You're facing your food toward the sun, meaning it's a confirmation of you're going to the right direction. And that becomes a confirmation, the simplest confirmation uh, 
English as is, like equal to, right, in <laughs> math language. Uh, so where side uh, is question, location, geo flagging equal to where side location, right? So that in this context, it's no longer it's no longer a question like exactly where the location of where you're going. It's almost like describing an uncertain. It's like describing a, a, a variable. Like we don't exactly know the geolocation of that thing. And we accept the fact that, okay, wherever that thing is floating to, that flagging thing, destination part is wherever you're going to land. We accept that. Okay, so 脚踩七八皮滑到哪里是哪里 is this funny picture of you're sliding, you're stepping onto the water ring, watermelon ring, and you're going to glide through space, and you're not sure where you're going to land to, and you adopt the attitude of wherever you land to, you just accept that as your landing place. And in English, I think probably play it by ear is the closest possible. It's the attitude. You're going to be flexible. You're going to be spontaneous. You're going to respond to whatever result. And then you're going to uh, adapt to the new situation. You're going to accept reality in that way. So play it by ear, most likely from the music you know, jamming session, you improvise, you just play by ear. You don't have the script <laughs> or music sheet. You're not following any pre-script uh, written notes. You're just playing it by ear. I mean, only people who are that good can improvise and make it sound good, right? So improvisation is really, I am mean, improvising right now. I don't script out what I'm going to talk about. So I don't really know uh, how it will turn out. So I'm playing it by ear. I'm doing this 脚踩西瓜皮滑到哪里是哪里 but the only thing I'm, I'm I'm tracking is the time. I don't want to overspend too much time wasting your time as well. As long as I feel I get a message across uh, the Chinese expression across to English um, speakers that it, it starts to make sense to you. So we use this Siwapi image, this watermelon ring to mean like we we can be spontaneous, we can accept whatever result we land on. All right, so that's 脚踩七八皮, 滑到哪里是哪里? Thank you for your time, see you another day.